Good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Miss Fairbanks here. It's good to see so many mums and dads and nannies and au pairs here. Fantastic. Please do stay through the whole of the workshop just to supervise your young person. Many thanks. Now, I recognise many of you from Pam's evening. Many of you might not recognise me this evening because it's been a long week, so I've got every effect and filter on. No man. So, off we go. So, we're going to be giving out workshop. Now, I did ask you earlier on this week to all think about what your favourite flower is. So, we're going to start from the top. Bear with me. Bear with me. <clears throat> so we're going to do our lovely moving to music this evening, the Saturday night, for all of you who have been pinged by the app and haven't been in school all week and been driving your parents up to bed. So we're going to make an imaginary fairy ring. So you stand up nice and tall, spread out those arms. That's it, two meter distance. <laughs> See what I did there. And then we're going to pretend that we're going to be flowers growing in the grass. So that's it, a nice big circle, spread out, nice and wide, wider, wider. Um, normally, of course, we would do this with me in class, with fingertips touching mums and dads. Um, but obviously, if we're doing this remotely, um, they can just um, imagine that a little bit. Right, Sue, can you let go of Neville? Because flowers don't hold hands, they just touch fingertips or stand, in this case, two metres apart. Sue, let go of Neville. Where's your mum? She's had what? A couple of glasses of wine, she's having a lie down. Good for mum. Um, and Sue, we don't want grumblers in our fairy ring, though, do we? You haven't had any dinner yet, so I'm sure Mummy will do you some when she gets up. Now, we only want smilers. Yes, you can go and get a biscuit if you want, but come straight back. Um, David, you're a smiler. So is Lavinia and Peggy and Geoffrey. Yes, you're all smilers. Oh, let's all have a good old smile for a minute, shall we? <laughs> oh. Who can do the biggest smile? Right, okay, so we've all chosen what flower we're going to be, more or less, haven't we? Okay, now, just a few more of you, and then we'll get on with our dancing. Oh, I, I say, a bouncing isn't dancing, Bieber. Yes, dear, you will feel a bit sick, especially if you've just had your dinner. Just just stop bouncing, Mummy, can you get him to stop bouncing? Because he says he feels a bit sick. <coughs> <coughs> no, I'm fine, children. <coughs> it's just a cough, because I was worried that Bieber was going to be sick everywhere. All of his mum's nice rug there. <clears throat> right. Okay. Now I'm going to play some music, and um, what I'm going to get you to do is to get up on your tippy, tippy toes and as light as feathers, dance your way all over the room, wherever the music takes you. Okay. Um, mums and dads, etc., carers, guardians, nannies, au pairs, and other. I or older siblings, I would suggest that you move any antiques or anything that's precious off any shelves and make sure your, your young, young young person has enough, enough room to move around. Uh, I should probably have said that at the beginning, so I'll give you just a minute to do that, okay? Right, okay, so, where was I? Oh, Sydney, can you come here please, dear? What have you got in your mouth? I can't hear a word you're saying, Sydney. Can you, can you go out of the room and, and spit it out? Dad's watching telly in the other room. Just go and show Dad in the other room and then come and tell me what it was. And Sydney, use both feet, dear. Please don't hop. That's it. Now then, children, we're going to wait uh, for a boy who puts things in his mouth like a baby. And we're going to be lovely flowers growing in the grass and the sun is shining down on us. So imagine that sun shining down on you and it's making you grow tall and beautiful. And Jeffrey, stand up. Flowers don't look backwards through their legs, do they? What flower are you? Oh, a fat daisy. <laughs> good, good, good. Hazel, what do we do with our heads? We hold them up. I should think so too, Hazel. That's it. Good girl. Right, everybody finished having a good old smile? Good, good. I do like to see so many smiley faces. Now, we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to put on our, um, what are we going to put on our heads? We're going to put on our, with the action, don't forget, thinking caps. Very, very good. What are we going to put on our? Very good. Well done. So, Bear with me. Bear with me. So, we're going to think about what we're going to choose to be. So, let's um, just go through my register I've got here. So, Lavinia, what flower are you? Oh, Bluebell. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Good girl. Um, Peggy. A red rose. Oh, that is nice. Neville. A wild rose. Oh, <laughs> goodness me. Well done, Neville. <laughs> and Sydney. Sydney, pay attention, dear, and don't pummel your dog. What flower are you going to choose to be? Sorry, Mum, what was that? It's okay, the dog loves. Okay, fair enough. 
Um, so, sorry, Sippy, what flower are you going to be, dear? The horse isn't a flower, Sippy. Yes, it is very funny, isn't it, Mum? <laughs> yes, yes, you're right now. Have a good laugh. That's it. <laughs> silly, silly. Silly, uh, Sippy. Sippy can't think of a better flower than that. We'll have to talk to someone else. But can I think of one? We'll come back to you in a minute. Now then, Sue, what are you? Another rose. Oh, I have such a lovely bunch of roses, don't I? Oh. So, Peggy's a red one. Neville's a wild one. So, what are you going to be? Oh, are you going to be a beautiful white rose or... Oh, you're going to be another red one. Oh, I see. Um, and shall we go back to Sydney? That's okay, Mum? Yeah? And Sydney. A carrot isn't a flower. A carrot is not a flower, Sydney. Think, dear. Oh, what? Well, I wouldn't let your dog lick your face like that. Um, I'll tell you what, Sydney, you're a tulip. All right, you're a nice tulip. Get Mummy to Google it for you later. You're a tulip, okay? No, you want to be a holly leaf. A holly leaf isn't a flower, Sydney. All right, you better be a holly leaf. That's fine, no problem. 